2024 Harley Davidson CVO ST model. Front and rear show us suspension. So you're gonna have those newer bags on here, that newer tank, uh, way different from the outgoing model. A lot of torque, a lot of horsepower. Welcome back to another video, guys. We're here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Right in front of me, we have the 2024 Harley-Davidson CBO ST model. Now, this thing is impressive. I've been on the track for probably two hours already. We've been going on and off the bikes. It's amazing. I, I really wanted to test out all the modes it comes with. It's really cool that Harley-Davidson is finally offering such a special bike like this from factory built for those people out there who are into the whole performance bagger look of the bike so anything that you would kind of want to do to your bike this bike is going to come with it from factory it's 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 awesome and we have some f22s flying over us which is great sorry for the audio so we're here at the speed where we got these f22s f18s flying over us it's 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 great it's been, it's been an awesome day now we're going to be going over Feel the details on the bike and uh, what makes it so special. So obviously we're gonna start by the front um, with the brand new fairing, which was offered in 2023 for the CVO models. Now that fairing, the whole design is gonna be on the CVOs, the ST CVOs, and then now the standard road glide and standard street glide for those of you guys who are out there. Same body style. You know, when it comes to the body, nothing's gonna be different from this to the standard models. It's just the components that are gonna change and obviously the motor. So we'll start for the front. We got the fairing, which looks beautiful um going down you're gonna see that you're gonna have those big wave rotors in the front those are from harley davidson they look great they perform great as well this bike is also going to have an inverted front end which is something that you're only going to have on this bike and then the other cbo models the standards are not going to have the inverted front end um, now you're also going to have for suspension front and rear show us suspension fully adjustable both front and back um, they feel great um the, the the bike just even even on sport mode because that's the mode that i started running it on the track it, it just it has such a great feel to it and it, it has to do a lot with the way the suspension is tuned on this bike it's just it's just great now towards the front right here you're also going to have this new riser setup that's only going to be offered on the st i'm pretty sure if you guys want to go ahead and buy from the harley davidson catalog you can but it's going to be a different bar setup from the other road glides really really nice now you're also going to have some carbon fiber components on here which is going to be that front fender we're going to have this tank dash the c cal and then the tips on the mufflers are all in that um carbon fiber composite um for those of you guys who are wondering well you have the seat which is a one seater obviously and then the c cal what can i do in order to fit my passenger in the back well you're going to have to take this whole thing off and then just add uh, two up on there as well. So that, that's gonna be an option for those of you guys who wanna ride with a passenger in the back. You're gonna have to get an additional seat uh, that seats two, and then you can also add the, the foot packs. This obviously being an ST model is more performance driven is basically out there for those guys who just really wanna get out there, rip, have a cool looking bike. Now for the engine, we're talking about a 121 high put engine, um, a lot of torque, a lot of horsepower, this is going to be more powerful than the one that is going to be on the regular CVO models. The ST motor is, is, is something else. It's not going to have the VVT like the other CVOs do. Um, and, and, that, and that's fine. The VVT, it, it lives in a place where it has a lot of low power, middle, high. Um, this is more so more of a torque engine. A lot of power you're going to be pumping out of here. Um, really good. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of it. Now, for the floorboards, you got some mini floorboards that these are also from Harley Davidson. So you're going to have it on the brake pad as well. They look really nice. A lot of grip. When I, when I was out there, I didn't feel my feet slipping anywhere at all. They look great. They feel great. And they, uh, they, they just do the job. The seat, surprisingly, it surprised me. The seat feels great. 
very comfortable. And I like all the textures, kind of reminded me of my seat that I have back at home with all the patterns and different textures. So you're gonna have the Alcantara, different patterns here and there. You're gonna have the CBO ST logo right there in the back. Looks very, very, very special. Now on this side of the bike, you're gonna have the uh, Fast Johnny branded on it. For those of you guys who are wondering why is Fast Johnny on this bike when it was on the Fast Johnny bike, Fast Johnny is just the mascot logo which they use for all the race bikes and this kind of being the performance kind of race bike that Harley Davidson is kind of offering from factory right now, it's only right to have it on here. Um, so you're gonna have those newer bags on here, that newer tank, uh, way different from the outgoing model. So this tank in particular is still a five gallon gas tank, but you're gonna see those lines that are gonna cut on the side of the tank. Those look a certain way to have that performance looking bagger you want. Um, and then also to perform like a performance bagger at that. So we mentioned that it's gonna have a few riding modes. So you're gonna have ride mode, uh, rain mode, you're gonna have uh, sport mode, track mode. The track modes kinda um, leave a little out of the electronics out. So it, it, it kinda, it's more dependent on you and the way you control the bike. It takes away from, you know, the bike kind of breaking, uh, having that linkage breaking as well. It's gonna help with the ABS, it's gonna be kind of be taken away from all the electronics and given you full access to kind of control the bike however you want to do it. Now, as far as components, that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, like I said, I've been riding the bike for a few hours on the track. It feels great, it handles great. I really like the braking, the suspension feels great as well. Um, and it, it's just so well done. So for those of you guys who kind of want to buy a bike, who kind of want that performance bagger looking bike and you kind of don't want to do anything, you just buy it, this is it right here. This is everything that Harley Davidson has to offer from factory and they have done just a fantastic job. Only comes in two colors, by the way, which is this black Raven Knight and then that golden uh, white color as well. I was really digging the white, but now that I'm, I'm spending a little bit more time next to the black, I'm kind of, kind of heading more towards the uh, the black color here as well. Now, another little thing that I do love about this bike is the front crash bar. It reminds me of a lot of the uh, Santoro setup that I have on my bike at home. So they do have the back ones to match the front as well. So these do comes with the sliders right here. It looks really cool, real badass. And if you wanna go ahead and buy the rear to match the front, they do also have that on the Harley Davidson catalog. So basically any options that you're gonna wanna add to your bike, you're gonna be able to go on harleydavidson.com, look into the parts. They have a ton of stuff, a ton of air cleaners as well. And talking about air cleaners, this one is tuned and designed specifically for this 121 high put engine, giving it a lot of power, a lot, a lot of uh, air going down to the bike. Also, another thing that they changed on this bike is also the throttle body. So you're gonna have that well-tuned uh, air cleaner bringing in all this air into the new redesigned throttle body. Um, I know the, the chain combustion, uh, the chambers, they redesigned those as well. So the way this bike is working, is just really, really different from what we know how the Milwaukee 8 works. The standard models are gonna be 117s. This one's obviously gonna be a 121 high output. And then the other CVOs is gonna be a 121 with the VVT inside of it. Now, another thing this bike is gonna have is that it's gonna be liquid cooled. And all the bikes are gonna have are the ST models, the CVO models, and the standard models as well. Um, it's liquid cooled and it starts from the rear cylinder. It brings everything up to the front and there's like a constant flow just to keep the whole engine nice and cool. Now, I gotta be honest with you guys, I did not feel any heat on this bike whatsoever. Now we've been around the track flowing a few times and tomorrow we're gonna spend a lot of more time on the standard models and I could give you a little bit more uh, feedback on that as well. But from what I know, the time that I spent on the 23 CVO last year, I didn't, I, I didn't sense any heat coming off the engine. It just felt really cool and I could see that whatever they did to change the whole liquid system, it's just, it's working fantastic. Now we're gonna have a few more important factors right here. First of all, let's talk about price. Price for this bike is gonna be 42999 which in my opinion, for what you're getting, you're getting a lot of bike for your buck. Next, let's talk about weight. This bike is gonna come in weighing at 838 pounds wet, which is a lot lighter than the outgoing model. The sound of the exhaust sounds really, really, really good. I'm really digging this Screaming Eagle Titanium exhaust on here. Now, I know a lot of you guys are also wondering, what's the numbers? What's the numbers? This little beast right here is gonna be pumping out 145 foot-pounds of torque and 127 horsepower. That's from factory, so I could just imagine after you go in and tweak in a few little things here and there. Now, with all this power coming out of this bike, you're gonna be pretty good when it comes to gas consumption. So, 
Fuel economy is gonna be our average in around 44 miles to the gallon, which isn't bad for this. Now lastly, let's talk about the wheels. In the front, you're gonna have a 19 inch front wheel and in the back an 18 inch front wheel. By the way, you can only get these wheels on the ST model. This is the only model that comes with this nice design. It's beautiful, it looks really, 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 really nice. And lastly, you're gonna have that nice Brembo brake setup. Also, we got some more stuff right here. We got some riding safety enhancements. You're gonna have anti-lock brake system. You're gonna have the electronic linked braking, which we spoke about. Uh, traction control, uh, drag torque slip control system, um, vehicle hold control, tire pressure monitoring system, corner enhanced anti-lock brake system, cornering enhanced electronic linked braking and cornering enhanced traction control now like i was saying before all these electronics are this kind of kind of disabled when you put it on track mode track mode is just basically you and the bike without any help from any of this electronics allowing you to kind of really handle the bike and go hard into those corners um and just give you the option to really ride the bike like a racer does on the track now, if you wanna go ahead and see a video of me riding this on a track, you're gonna see that. I'm gonna be linking it up at the end. Hopefully that video is already up. If not, it'll be up in a few days. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button that's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And I am gonna keep enjoying this beautiful warm weather in Las Vegas. And thank you so much for Harley Davidson for having us out here having fun on these things, man. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Like always, I have the force with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.